Hi, or welcome to the new video. Um, today I'm doing a video game character out of uh, Hero Wars, the character of Astaroth. I'm using um, the black chroma looks again, and the colors are black and white as opaque, and the rest of the colors are transparent candies. Starting now with the uh, light grey. And they have the grey tones. Now comes the uh, second stencil with the opaque black where I lay down some shadows, knock parts. Now I'm doing the highlights. And I'm doing this before the color and um, later I'm repositioning this stencil and I'm doing some highlights over the color. And there you have him in black and white. Now I'm doing where's reduced air, I'm doing like these little spots and drops, so I get like a little texture. And now I can do the colors. So I'm going with the uh, red, uh, uh, red colored um, wings, and I'm doing orange, uh, the glowing orange eyes. I'm also using the uh, yellow orange part of the wings. Now comes the uh, colors on the body, and there I'm using um, the green and orange tones. So I'm starting with a light blue, and because it's transparent colors, I can mix on the surface. And with some yellow, you get different kinds of blue, uh, green. I'm using some blue on the metal parts. And I'm redoing the highlights. The 
doing some freehand for the glowing eyes. So I'm just uh, dropping in some white. And again some yellow and red so that you get this this glow on the eyes. And some highlight in the middle again. Some highlights on the chains and uh, metal parts. And I'm also some a little bit of color in the side. And I'm doing a little bit of yellow on the armor parts. And now I'm covering the whole uh, Reaper and I'm going to do a quick background. I'm using a little biomechanic pattern for this. looks nice, easy to make. It's two parts, so I'm doing a grey and then I'm doing a highlight white and then it can be colored in any color you like. This is now the highlights. And you can see the nice effect you get there. And this now is another pattern of being a mechanic. I'm doing the same, so a light gray and then highlight white. And then I'm doing some um, uh, some shapes on the floor. Also with reduced air, I'm doing these little drops, so you get a texture. And uh, I'm doing a shadow in black because the little reaper is uh, flying. And I'm using a little bit of light blue for the background. There you have it, but um, I thought I have to put a little bit of uh, white around it because it's the uh, background is too too complicated. It takes away a lot from the Reaper, so I'm positioning the um, the uh, cover stencil again. And I'm doing a little bit of highlights around the uh, the Reaper. And I'm using a little bit of white for this. So this is now the mode where 
I'm working with reduced air, so I'm getting these little droplets that look like sparks. I surround the Astaroth with it, the little reaper. And now I'm using a little bit of the yellow. And you get like an extra glow around it. Also using a little bit of the blue. So you have like some green and now I'm doing, doing again this with the reduced air. The white so it's like as if there were like little sparks around the the reaper. So and uh, as a final step, I'm doing some highlights. I'm using some stars for this. So doing some freehand highlights, and also I'm doing these stars in the eyes. So it's a cool effect. So now I'm doing some like flashes that, that is combined with little sparks. And I'm doing some highlights with the highlight white stencil. As a final finish, not everything, just some small parts. So, if you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel, and uh, if you want to play the game, it's uh, Hero Wars on uh, Facebook or mobile. Thank you. S see you soon. Goodbye.